example, is 18 squared pi. So that is 324 pi. The area of the little track the little circle is nine pi or is nine squared pi. So that's eighty-one pi. So figure out the area of the shaded region, do the big circle minus the little circle. And we get two hundred and forty three pi inches squared. Okay, number forty two. We have A B is four. BC is 6. We need to figure out what portion has an area of 84 pi centimeters squared. We'll figure out the area of the big one first. So that means our, ra our radius would be this 4 plus 6. So our radius is 10. So our area is 10 squared pi. So that's 100 pi centimeters squared for our big part. The area of our little part is 4 squared pi. So that's 16 pi centimeters squared. Let's see what happens if we subtract those two. 100 pi minus 16 pi gives us 84 pi centimeters squared. So that means the portion we're looking for is the in between right there. Number 43. We have that AC is four feet. It means the big circle has an area of four squared pi feet squared. So that's 16 pi feet squared. The area of the little circle has a radius of 2. So that's 2 squared pi feet squared. So that's 4 pi feet squared. And look, no subtraction involved because we needed to find the part that had 4 pi feet squared as the area. So that's just the little circle. 44. If you think about this section right here, which I've outlined in green, and we moved it up, it would fill in this blank part up top. So we're essentially just finding half of the area of this big circle. So one half, our radius is half of 60, so that's 30 squared pi. So that's 900 pi over 2. So our answer would be 450 pi inches squared. 45. If we take the area of the big circle and divide that in half, we have so the area of the big pot circle's radius is 18, so that's one half of 18 squared pi, which is 324 pi over 2, divide that in half, 162 pi. And then the area of the little circle, that part's 6, so this is 1 half of 6 squared pi, which is 36 over 2 pi, which is 18 pi. So we have 162 minus 18 our answer is 144 pi inches squared. There's our answer. Number 46. We have a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. So it means we know our opposite angles are supplementary. So we get angle Y, Q, 180 minus 105. So Y is 75 degrees. To figure out angle W and angle Z. We're going to look at, here's this arc. It's, here's an inscribed angle that, inter that, inscri that intercepts that arc. So angle W would be 37 plus 135. I'm divide that in half because W is an inscribed angle, so it's half of the arc length. 172 divided by 2. So we get that this is 86 degrees. So W is 86. Z would be 180 minus 86, so that's 94 degrees. And then angle X, or arc X. Here's the arc that uses X that we have numbers for. There's the angle that intercepts that arc. So we know that 105 is equal to 135 plus X. 
divided by 2, multiply both sides by 2. 210 equals 135 plus x. Subtract the 135 and get that x equals 75 degrees. Number 47 is very similar. Angle Z is 180 minus 112. So that's 68 degrees. We're going to use this 114 and the 36 arc to figure out angle Y, because angle Y would be half of whatever 36 plus 114 is. So that's 150 divided by 2. So angle Y is 75 degrees. And then we know that so then we need to figure out angle W. That's 180 minus 75. So angle W is 105 degrees. Then we have to figure out x. So here's x. Here's an arc right next to it that we do know. So here's the angle that intercepts that arc. So we know 112 equals 114 plus x divided by 2. Multiply both sides by 2. 224 equals 114 plus x. Subtract, we get that x equals 110 degrees. Number 48. We have a big circle here. We know that look at angle A, because angle A and angle F are equal to each other. So let's figure out angle A, because we have information for that. We want to do the big arc minus the little arc, so the measure of angle A equals 130 minus 20 divided by 2. So that's 110 divided by 2. So the measure of angle A is 55 degrees. That also means the measure of angle F is 55 degrees. Now we look at angle F. Here are the two intercepted arcs. We know that HJ is has the measure of 150. So we know 55 has to equal 150 minus X divided by 2. Multiply both sides by 2. 110 equals 150 minus X. Subtract the 150. We get negative 40 equals negative x. Divide by negative 1. So x equals 40 degrees. Number 49. Okay. We know that a and b are, or let's see, a, b is 32. So if we look at this little triangle right here, it makes this part 16. Since this whole angle was 120, Here's a little triangle we're looking at. This is 60 degrees. This is 16. So we have a special right triangle. So I figure out the radius. So I use the 60 and 90 portion of my 30, 60, 90. Here over 2, 16, and x. Square root of 3 over 16 equals 2 over x. So then we get 32 equals x root 3. Divide by root 3. We get that this right here is a length of 32 root 3 over 3, which is approximately, which is actually we're going to take the decimal, and that is 18.475. So take the area of the triangle. I'm going to erase all this so I have more space. So the area of my triangle, 18.475 times 18.475 times the sine of my angle, all this, half of it. If I do all that in my calculator, This is approximately 99.088 millimeters squared. Now you find the area of my sector. So the area of my sector is 120 over 360 times 18.475 squared pi. Do that in my calculator. I get that this is 357.435, subtract.
357.435 minus 99.088. Equals 258.347 millimeters squared. There's my answer. Number 50. AC is 15. BC is 15. I just need to find the area of the shaded segment. So my area of my triangle. This time I can use my 1 half base times height because I have both those pieces. This is 112.5 feet squared. The area of my sector is 90 over 360 times 15 squared pi. That's 225 pi over 4, which is approximately 176.714. Subtract those two. The answer is 64.214 feet squared. Last one. All right. All right. So we have to find the area of our segment. So we need to find the area of our sector and the area of our triangle. Our triangle is one half five times five times the sine of 60. When we do that, we get S equals 10.825 feet squared. The area of our sector, 60 over 360 times 5 squared pi. So this is 25 over 6 pi. Subtract the 2. We get their area is 2.264 feet squared. We have reached the end of the review. So if you have any questions, you can email your teacher. If we have the snow days, you can come in when we have school again to ask any questions. If not, good luck studying.